Hello everyone, Mr. Slime here and I'm going to teach you the step-by-step -step on how to create maps in Wordbox on the mobile version. So as you can see, I am currently using the mobile version of Wordbox and to start making the map, first we need to create a new world. Just click the create new button over here, then select the empty option at the bottom. We can select the size of the map from tiny to titanic. But for this video, I am going to be using the standard size. After that, for you to not have any distractions while building, click the word loss and turn off everything. Then turn off all the edges as well. Turning them off will create less lag while you build, but you can turn them on after. Now, let's start! But first, as you can see, we cannot see the world border. But we need to determine the world border for us to know how big our map is going to be. So first, select the shallow water tool and select the biggest brush. Then just click once inside of the border. Then as you can see, the water is starting to fill in. But this causes lots of lags and time as well if you try to do it on the whole map. So, I'm going to show you the best tool for world building, the finger tool. This tool allows you to copy the pixels that you select. This would make our work much faster. So, just select the finger tool, then click on the shallow water, and just spread it to the whole map. Look how easy it becomes. There's no lag, and you don't have to wait for it to get filled up by water. And with this, we also determined our world border. After determining how large our border is, we can now create continents. So first, select the sand tool and use the biggest brush. Then, just lay out the basic shape of the land. This is to separate the open oceans to the continents. So, now that we have determined the shape of our land, we are now going to create the coastlines. So, select the finger tool again and select this small brush here. Then, just copy the shallow water and begin to cut through the sands and create the coastlines. Do not make the coastline straight. We want them to look as natural as possible and might be as wiggly as possible as well. In this way, it would look more like the coast of a continent rather than an island. Now, just continue doing it, leaving some tiny islands and later, cutting through the land to divide the continents. And if you want to rechange it, just click the sand and it will be copied by the finger tool. So you don't have to change tabs at all, making your work faster. Now, let's continue. After we are done with dividing the continents and creating our coastlines, we are now going to select the plain soil tool and using this brush, the big circular one, just simply click once on each continent. Now, using the finger tool again, we are now going to use the plain soil to cover the continents. So use this small brush again and copy the fertile tile and just follow the path of the coastlines. The sand that we placed at the start will now become our beaches that we can determine how big we wanted it to be. You can make large beaches or small ones. Then after you're done following the coast, just use the big brush tool and copy the plain soil and carefully fill in the inside. Then using the other brush sizes to fill in the rest. Now, just continue doing this to other continents.
after you're done, we are now going to put the mountings. So first, select the heels tool. Put wherever you want your heels to be. Just simply select this brush size and simply do this. Just continue putting your heels wherever you want it to be. We want the mountains to be rather small in size because we want it to look like it's on a continent, not on an island. So we are using a bit of perspective here. Then using the finger tool, just fix the look of your mountains, making it look a bit more natural. Next, after you are done, use the mountain tool and put it on the top of the hills you created. And now, because we have determined the coastlines and the mountains, it is now easier to see where biomes would make sense to exist. So in this part is where you are now going to add biomes. After that, we are now going to use the forest soil tool and using this brush, we are now going to put one on each biome. There, now using the finger tool, we are now going to expand this forest. The purpose for this part is to have proper division between biomes. The plain soil acts as the buffer between biomes while the forest soil acts as the middle of the chosen biome. In this case, we will have a nice transition from biome to biome. So just continue expanding those forests. There! Now the base for our continents is now finished. Now let's design the oceans. So we are now going to use the close ocean tool first, then just follow the coast where our shallow water is 
and filled in the rest later so we are going to use of course the finger tool Now we are going to do the same with the deep ocean tool using the same process as well. After the oceans, it is now time for our fresh waters. So first, we are adding our reverse. So using the finger tool, in the smallest brush size, the square one, the little square one, we are going to copy the shallow water on the coast and drag it to the nearest mountain. Add as many as you want if it makes sense to the biome, like this. And now we are going to add our lakes. So select the shallow water tool and using the smallish bright size again, we are going to add a bit of lakes to our world, like this. Try adding some oasis on our deserts. And using the rain tool, we are filling those lakes with water using the largest brush. We are almost done! Now we will just add some finishing, finishing touches such as the putting glaciers on our mountains using the forest tool and the permafrost biome so it wouldn't melt. Then let's fill the remaining small islands with biomes. Now this part is only optional based on your gameplay. So we will now add resources to our world. First, add our minerals such as rocks, ores, etc. and put more on the mountain regions of our map. Then, put trees more on our four soils. Then, add some berry bushes to our forest. And we are done! And now you have created a map in Worldbox. Using this method, you can do more maps using bigger map sizes like Titanic. Here are just some of my creations that can be downloaded for free at the Wordbox Discord. Now, on the next video, it will be about biomes. Which biomes make sense to be near each other and how do we elevate these biomes further. 
so stay tuned for that now that would be all this is my first video and i hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel and help our channel grow thank you